We're in the middle of a hype battle against Alice, but what happened? The clash with Kirito, the wall explodes, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is left alone. The wall auto-regenerates, -reg and Kirito and Alice are presumably falling outside. Is the Dragon Rider gonna save them? What's gonna happen? Let's find out in today's reaction. <laughs> what the fuck? How? <laughs> I mean, we're saving her. A sinner? That's funny, because you're a sinner yourself. You literally was like one of the original sinners, bro, of the show in episode one. Touchdown! But memory erase. <laughs> she took that stupid so seriously. <laughs> you just call me Baka? I'm gonna blush now. <laughs> Yo, where is this Kirito coming from? This is nice. You just, you just streamed just calling her three idiots in a row. You double, double idiot there. Eight? <laughs> she counted, bro. Eight bakas, bro. Can we make that ten? Because Yuji loves you. Mm. Truce. Between Alice? We came to save you. Good logic, good logic. Very conveniently, you know, uh, avoiding the whole other reason of war trying to save her, but this is good. That's how important it is. Yeah, fuck those two, bro. True, make her realize. I am, stop! Come on! You really have to replay the scenes? God. One of the funniest things, though, of this episode was when Ryos jumped on the bed. Like, I will never forget that scene. I will never forget that scene where bro was like... Duh! And I was like... That, that shit? That shit was, like, so fucking funny. It was creepy. It was super creepy. But that jump on the bed was actually peak. That, that was such a memorable fucking moment for the wrong reasons, bro. Oh. Dude, and the craziest thing is like fucking <laughs> A1 pictures went out of their way to enhance their budget during that scene. They made the whole scene so cinematic. Like the amount of frames being added, every tongue flicker from Ryos, bro, like that was an insane episode. Like truly crazy. <laughs> Typical take from a brainwashed dog of the government, or should I say the church? Come on, come on. Have some level of independent thinking. Just ask yourself, why does these rules even exist? Let's examine the laws and ask who even wrote these laws. And then we can trace it back to Quinella and realize that this shit's dumb. Yeah, who decides that, huh? Pontifex does. <laughs> I love this line of thinking because that was like the most common uh, counter to people who are religious when you're growing up in high school. It's just like, oh, you're gonna go to hell if you do that. And I mean, like, <laughs> then strike me down. And if it doesn't happen in the next three seconds, then I'm fucking right. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, Oh, yo, this is breaking. How do we survive this? Do we, like, break the wall from the outside? Actually insane strength. Like, Alice wearing her entire armor and the sword, pulling it up with his non-dominant hand while gripping up and holding himself up. This is, like, an insane level of strength being displayed here. <laughs> I thought she just betrayed him there. <laughs> Yoink, bye! <laughs> oh, gotcha. What's going on, man? Baka! Call him stupid. Say idiot. <laughs> Alice super strong, too. <laughs> truce, truce. <laughs> 
It means working together. No, she means like specifically, what are we doing? Are we actually gonna go kill Pontifex? Yo, how are we gonna get up? This is kind of cute. Just random feet animation of Alice just like dangling around. What, what, is, she, what is she, a girl that's fidgeting right now because she's kind of shy? This is supposed to be a cute moment? Okay. Generate rope. Change shape. You're changing the shape of her gauntlet? Cool, okay, 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 okay. She's changed the glove gauntlet. Right? No one can use the command to convert an object's properties but the pontifex herself. But did you not just convert the properties of this object? Well, the properties of this, it, it, sh it changed the shape because it's a golden gauntlet that got turned into a golden, like a quote-unquote chain, right? Now, if this, the golden gauntlet's changed into like a silver or something totally different, that would be actually transmutation. And pontifex can do that. But no one else can. Got it? Yeah, she low-key just gatekeeping the fucking system gate call, bro. She's just not letting anyone know the actual commands. How are we gonna get up? First message in chat. Why the fuck you watching this? Why the fuck did you click onto the stream? I'll do you a favor, monkey. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, it's just so fun. It is just so fun. Mm. I love this shit, bro. Mm. Every day. All right, let's restart it. Let's go. No. Dragons can approach no higher than landing platform on the 30th floor. So like an intentional cap Quinella put on the dragon so they can't reach the top? Oji-sama. Oji-sama? I mean, the command just... The Knight's Dragon, right? That's gotta be Berkeley, but okay. He, and she calls him Oji-sama because the Knight Commander trained Alice so... just directly? The Commander's Dragon is forbidden to ascend any higher than that. Hmm, okay. So Oji-sama maybe has some special privileges, but everyone can't, you know, exceed more than 30th. Oji-sama. Yeah. Ah, oh, bitch, they just don't have the fucking stamina. It's like ALO, remember? You can't climb to the top of the goddamn tower with your fairy wings. We're gonna put a limit on that shit. Quinella was like, nope. Ain't no dragon flying beneath, you know, beyond the 30th. Nope. Breakthrough. That was the auto region, remember? Morningstar lookouts. No, I think that Alice will change. She's talking all this shit because obviously we're supposed to be enemy, but I still think that no matter what, when the time comes, that she will act according to her own will and desires rather than just blindly following the church. She's talking big, but because of that, I think that she's not going to do it. How do you climb this shit? Climb like a sword? Nice. Damn, Kirito, were you part of the Olympics? How many times are you gonna generate metallic elements? Are you actually gonna just spam generate metallic elements over and over and keep climbing? There's gotta be a limit, right? But, and what about Alice? We're gonna pull her off? Like, what the fuck? Can she do it? Does she have the acrobatic skills? She can't. Stupid. Baka. Baka. Yo, all these fucking blushing scenes from Alice, man. What's going on? Because if she did it, that we would see her panties or some shit? Because this is a skirt? What, what is the logic? Are you, uh, what, a lady can't show something when she's, you know, flipping up and down? Okay, can you... Alright. 
Oh, come on. Wakata. Nara Oregaxario Hippate. Anto Ashbaskuta no Mimas. Ja, you could emote. Alla from the Sickle is actually very, very cute. <laughs> this is like making her seem way less scary. This is like we're back with our old friend Alice and. Nah, we're not really, but this makes it seem that way. She heavy. Bro, Kirito's balance and strength is insane. Holy shit, he's just straight up dragging her up. She's so scared, man. <laughs> yeah. Stop looking down, girl. It's gonna be scary. Oh, we're out. We're outside. Pig turtle. Where's Asuna at? Is she gonna link start or what, bro? Come on, let's go. And like, this is literally breakfast. Remember last time we were talking about getting breakfast or some shit, right? It's literally like the amount of time that's passed in. It's been like a couple, like... Maybe in, maybe like an hour? I don't know, a couple minutes? Anyway, it's still that same day. No, they import that shit. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Hello. It's Connie! But grown up Connie. Remember, everything is the Connieverse. Oh, I thousand tons. boy, man. He's super enthusiastic about the ships, huh? <laughs> Honestly, it's Riz if you're good looking and they like you and they talk passionately about it. But if they don't like you, they're gonna think you're a freaking creep. Already ignored. Already fucking ignored, bro. What is that? What is that? What do you say? Isn't this ship moving away? Uh oh. Is, is that a bad thing? Are we under attack? What's going on? It's leaving early. I don't know. I don't know. I do I don't He's still saying wedge shape. He's still saying it over and over. Are we running out? We're running out. We're tired. Huh. Because we use the light of solace. When this light is gone, it's darkness. But can we not use, like, the power of Vecta then? You know, the god of darkness here? We're just out of mana right now, but... I guess we chill here now? Damn. What's Yuji doing? I just realized. The fuck? What do you think Yuji was... Because he got mad that the... They got blasted off the wall and then he was in despair and then I don't know anymore. What's Yuji up to? Let's sleep then? What are we going to do? Sucks meters, six miles away. Give me a rod, baby girl. Oh, you got a rod? Red shape. More of translating her, you know, existing gear. Golden rod. That is genuinely so impressive. He has to do this every fucking time, bro. He has to do this every single time and then pull her up as well. That's actually crazy. Yo, what the mouth do? Stop it. Stop it. Stop saying wood. It's a gargoyle, right? Yeah, here it comes. Uh-oh. Dark territory? Why would dark territory gargoyles be here? As spies? Quinella did this shit? Or just random spies? I'm not sure. There's a lot of them. Wait, didn't we need that? Didn't, didn't, didn't we need that? Anyways, fuck it. We, we need to survive regardless. She's so useless, dude, right now. 
this bitch being so useless, half of me wants to fucking tie her up to the gargoyles and have her get dragged in the air, just like in episode 1 when the integrity and I fucking took her to the church. The fear of height is so much. Shoot her up there. Yeah, shoot her up to the ledge. How are you this strong? While balancing your body at the same time, Kirito needs to go to the Olympics. Amazing, bro. Oh shit! Pull him up! Oh, she's super strong too. Hey, safe though, safe! I don't want to hear Baka from you, Baka. System art. System code. There's one more there too, yeah? Evil familiar. Why they set this shit up here? Minions? They're called minions? Oh, I don't know! Maybe Quinella is... Maybe Quinella's the one that set this shit up. I mean, if she... Did the Dark Territory exist before Quinella did? Because, like, if Quinella is supposed to have, like, in the beginning, she's the one that started to learn all about the sacred arts in the beginning and no one else knew about the knowledge, I would think that she knows about the dark arts as well, right? Like, what, what is this? Right? Dark arts. Dark arts? Dark, yeah, the dark arts. There, there, there's sacred arts and there's dark arts. Quinella wouldn't know dark arts? Did she intentionally do this as like a last line of defense because she's that paranoid? Just like how she limited the 30 floors of dragons to it? The two worlds existed in the beginning? I, this isn't Quinella's doing this shit? I don't know. I'm just gonna guess Quinella did this. And if we were able to prove that Pontifex did use Dark Arts to use this shit, then Alice's faith would be broken because she would realize that, huh, you know, it's like, you're not actually that good of a person that I thought you were, and then she can be free? Probably. Nah, dude, 100%. Oh, Alice theme! Shuyui! Now we good. Oh! Alice seems to respect the Kirito's move right there. Now, remember when Kirito's sword would like get huge and gigantic? We haven't used that in a while. Now we have System of Arts, Enhanced Armament, and then it becomes like that demon tree-like, you know, figure. But there was also the mental image, just like skills that we were using before, where the sword imbued in gold and got bigger. Are we gonna be able to combine that shit, or are we gonna just forget about the golden sword? Einkrad <laughs> This bitch really fucking insulting us after we saved her ass because she was so scared of little heights. What the fuck you sh- What'd you say? What'd you just say? Oh, it's just for peasants? Oh, memory? Here we go, here we go! Okay, confront her past memories and then she's gonna- the purple cube thing's gonna come out of her head. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, good call, good call. The blood is corrosive? She's about to fucking clean it off her face? What's gonna happen right now? Because, like, if we use a clothes, then the clothes would burn off or something? Yeah, we're having some, we're having some, like, slice of life, like, rom com moments happening right now, man. Can I use your panties? Oh, handkerchief gained. Wow. Return it to me before I kill you and wash it first. This has got to be the most bizarre handkerchief freeze moment in my life, bro. What the fuck?
Back in the church. Yuji was still walking. Yeah. What's up, Yuji? This looks like a boss room. This looks like a boss room, man. I don't know about that, Yuji. Are you sure, Yuji? Berkeley? Berkeley? Who's in there? Yo, this is a hot spring. It's a bathhouse. What the? Are we gonna get a bathhouse episode? What the fuck? It is. 90 floors of bath? Is that Berkeley? Giga Chat Berkeley literally just chills in his fucking hot spring, the bathhouse. He just chilling like. Finally, you're here. I've been waiting for you. You write that thing, huh? Yeah, your body's sore. Riding that thing, doing tricks off of it, huh? Yeah, okay, you, you need some time? I'll give you some time. Broccoli! And we have his sword too! And that's another episode of SAO. And today's episode? It was more rom-com slice of life than I imagined. What's the important things going on? I think a really important thing going on right now is the fact that this warship that's supposed to be escorting us is already leaving. Outside, obviously, of our game, game simulation. What could be happening outside that the warship is leaving us? That sounds a little bit problematic. Other than that, it was just basically Kirito doing Olympian things and just like bringing them up to the top of the tower by summoning the metal wedges and going in. And then there was these minions that were shown creatures used and created by the dark arts but why would they reside near the 90th floor or like whatever this is it's so high up right why one the most intuitive answer is that this is simply the work of queen ella and how paranoid she is to the point where she's using dark arts to have these monsters you know protect but does that make sense why would she know dark arts because she should know all the system commands right it, it, surely it's not that crazy to assume that Quinella also has those powers, seeing as she was literally from like the origin story, so I'm not really sure. Other than that, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! now potentially versus Berkeley. And the craziest thing is, we have this blue rose sword. Meaning, what is Berkeley's divine object right now? I don't know. Is he gonna recognize the sword and say something else? And interesting that it's like a hot spring, like a bath. I don't know, but this is like a pretty cool setup. Maybe we don't have to fight. Maybe we can chill, but we'll find that out time next time. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.